three, two, one. Okay, I got another uh, early Christmas present to myself. Let me shut off this radio. So I got my early Christmas present. And it will be Another piece of radio gear. And there's this little box right here. Very expensive. Gonna remove it out of the box. I could use this box for something else. There we go. And what we got here, we're gonna find out. What we got here is the PA 350V 135 to 165 MHz 350 watt amplifier, which will go with my uh, 9700 sitting right in front of me. little amplifier here. Well, it's not that little. Sorry, it looked small. It didn't look that big in the picture. Got the brackets to mount it, I guess, somewhere. In a mobile, maybe? I don't know. Got the screws that like go anodize. And the manual. Gonna remove it out the bubble wrap. Wow. It's bigger than what I was hoping for. The power cord. Now this is a 50 amp uh, a 50 amp uh, power supply might be needed, which I got a 50 amp, but uh, I don't know, maybe more than 50 amp. This is 350 watt, and I, as I heard, you could do a little bit more than that, but it will ruin the linearity of the audio. In other words, you overdrive it to store the audio. You got two fans on the back. UHF connectors and I got that's why I got this. The adapter. And that's about it. The rest is just uh, put it on the radio. Try this for Cyber and CW. I did not, uh, I, I don't intend to use it on any uh, frequency on FM. I don't have to, all the repeaters are accessible with 10 watts or less. But this is gonna be for CW and single sideband. I gotta get me another antenna. I have a vertical antenna right now and it holds about 200 watts, so it's not gonna hold the entire power of this uh, amplifier. So uh, in the future, another antenna is on the, should be on my uh, wish list. Okay, okay. Well, I 
wanted to do a, a non air test, but uh, I'm not prepared at all. I needed two uh, one of those uh, two UHF adapters. I only got one. Oh, I used to have a whole bunch of those. I don't know what they have right now. I guess I'm gonna look for them in a little while. And uh, my meter here only goes for about 150 watts, so that meter, uh, I don't want to cook it out. I got a 50 amp power supply from Amazon. It's a switching power supply. And I got the amplifier, which I'm, I won't be able to use until I find uh, what I need. Yeah, switch on the power supply. This is standby, you can't see if it's not letting, I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, I'm gonna turn. There you go. Firmware. So it reads uh, transmit power. External PTT, if you're gonna use an external PTT device. Sideband, transmit the uh, power, I guess. Uh, receive LNA, whatever that means. User defined. So yeah, it, the meter tells you a lot of information, the input power, the output power, the SWR reading. So basically, I don't need this meter. I will take that off the line. But I still need the UHF adapter. And I need a, what else am I need? A better antenna, of course. But uh, this over here is interesting, because this is the transmit power. You, you want low power. I, I don't know, I guess it does 100 watts. I gotta read the manual. But uh, uh, let me see the power. Uh, medium or oh, transmit power medium and that's high power so I guess what I got right now I gotta leave it on low power interesting I don't want to push it because it's not a uh, stable but there goes the the amplifier that I uh, won't be able to use well I don't think there's a lot of action on uh, CW right now or Cyber, I have to look for that. And that will maybe what a better one turn, I don't know. But anyway, there, there you go, so fully functional, but cannot operate it. That's about it.